In this video, we are going to learn how you can match form submission details with MySQL database. So you are having some candidate details in your MySQL database table and to update the same, you have created a contact updation form using your Google Forms account and you have shared that form with all your candidates. Now you want that whenever the form is filled, automatically, first of all, the form submission details should be matched with your database records and if any of the specific record doesn't matches then that specific record should be updated in your database and if it is updated your candidate should receive a whatsapp message on his mobile number stating that his records are updated in your database for that you need to integrate your google forms with my sql database and then with whatsapp also so how you can integrate all these software applications using public connect for that you need to come to my screen to match form submission details with MySQL database, first we need to log into P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com. This is the website of Pabli. Now here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you're going to get free task every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the all apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Match form submission details with MySQL database. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever the Google form is filled based on form submission details, first of all, the data should be matched with your MySQL database table. And if the data doesn't matches, your database should be updated and the same updation message should be delivered to your customer or to your candidate on his WhatsApp number. For that, first we need to integrate Google forms with Public Connect. So open this trigger window and here choose the application name as Google forms. Select the trigger event as new response received. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So let us read few of them. Google form responses are collected in Google Sheets. So follow the below steps in order to get the new response. Go to the form on which you want to take the submission and make the last question as required for the trigger. Okay. So I'll just take you to the Google form which I have already created named candidate status form. It is a candidate updation form and uh, where I am collecting the details of the candidate to get updated in my database. So here I have taken the fields for the name, email address and phone number of the candidate. So here we have to make the last question that is the phone number as required over here. Okay. Now we are moving to responses tab and here you can see I don't have any responses. So to capture the response, I'm just going to click on this I button that is preview. And here let us fill in the form on the name of a candidate or the customer. Okay. The candidate name as demo demo candidate okay i'm just giving a random name let's give the email address as demo at the rate pablitudes.com and here let us enter the phone number and now let's click on submit so the, here we can see that the form has been filled now let's move back to google form and here in the responses tab we can find one response that is demo demo candidate okay now, as it was mentioned in the instructions that the Google form responses are collected in Google Sheets. So now we are going to integrate the Google Sheet. We are going to collect this response in the Google Sheet. For that, click on the three dots and click on select response destination. And now it is asking to create a new spreadsheet or you want to select the existing spreadsheet. So I want to create a new spreadsheet and the name would be candidate status form responses. If you want to change the name, you can just change it over here. Okay. And now let's click on create. Linking to spreadsheet. Spreadsheet is linked. Okay. And now to access the spreadsheet, we have to click on this green sign view responses in sheets. Okay. And here we can see that all the details of the form submission are captured over here in this particular Google sheet. We can find the date and time. We can find the name of the candidate, his email address and the phone number. Okay. So now let's integrate this Google sheet with Pabli Connect so that the details are captured over here in Pabli Connect. For that, we have to just click on extensions, click on add-ons and click on get add-ons. Now it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. 
let us find pably connect web books okay now you have to install pably connect web books on your system as you can see that it is already installed i'm just going to close this window but remember after installing pably connect web books on your system you have to refresh your google sheet i repeat you have to refresh your google sheet once the google sheet is refreshed again click on extensions and this time click on pably connect web books and click on initial setup and now here it is asking for the web book url and the trigger column so here we have to paste the web book url that we have seen in pably connect so let's move back to pably connect and we have to simply copy this web book url from here and we have to just paste it over here and now it is asking for the trigger column the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the web book url so here you can see i have the data from column a till column d and i want the data to be captured till column d so i have to give the trigger column as column d over here say if you have the data till column j and you want the data to be captured till column j then you have to give the trigger column as column j over here okay now let's click on send test test data sent successfully okay and now let's click on submit setup configured successfully okay now let's close this window and again we have to come to extensions pably connect web books and this time we have to click on send on event so why we are going to select this option just because next time whenever the form will be filled and the details will be captured in this particular google sheet automatically pably connect is going to capture the details we don't have to link this form submission details again and again simply make sure you have a tick mark on send on event option over here okay now let's move back to pably connect and when we scroll down we can see that the form submission details are captured over here we can find the trigger column we can find the time stamp spreadsheet name id sheet name sheet id and now the customer details or the form submission details are also captured that is the row index phone number of the candidate candidate name and his email address so now we are going to match this candidate details with our mysql database for that i'll just show you my database also where i am having the details of some candidates and here you can see that the candidate id is 22 and the name of the candidate is demo candidate over here so here you can see that the na name is not correct here we have got the email address that is demo at pablitudes.com and here we have got the phone number of the candidate as 9xxx0 and here in the form submission also okay i'll show in pably connect yes we have got the same phone number but we are going to update the name of the candidate as it is different from the name that, that we have in our uh, database over here that is demo candidate and now we are having demo demo candidate okay so now to update that details first of all we are going to check the details we have to capture all the details of the database in our pably connect so let's integrate my sql with pably connect so come to this action window and here choose the application name as my sql select the action event as get rows click on connect click on add new connection and now it is asking for the database username database password host database and the port so you have to enter the database username and password over here for the host database name and for the port i'll just take you to my mysql database account and here you can find server as local host in my case so here you can find your actual host you have to simply copy it and you have to paste in pably connect here itself you can find the database name and here itself you will be finding the port also so you have to simply copy those details also and you have to just paste it over here to create a connection as i have already created a connection i'm just going to choose this option that is select existing connection and we have to simply click on save and now my sql database account is connected to pably connect now here we have to select the table name so as we have created a connection here we can find all the tables that i have created in my my sql database account so our table name is candidate details so i'm just going to select the same over here now here we have to select the column name select a column name for my sql where clause so here i'll be selecting the email address okay and the operator would be equal to and here we have to give the value what do you want to search in this particular table so we want to search the email address and we have already got the email address from the trigger response over here so now we are going to map this particular email address so this email address will be searched in our database okay so here we have to map the details for mapping simply click it over here come to the google form response and from the drop down we have to just map the value that is the email address of the candidate and now here it is asking for the limit enter limit to fetch the specified number of rows example 10 or 9 or 8 whatever you want to give or to fetch all the rows write all so here i'm just writing all okay and now let's click on save and send test request
Okay, and here we can see the responses received and the details of the demo candidate is captured over here. We can find the status as success. Candidate ID as 22. Uh, candidate name as demo candidate. This was in our database. This was the email address and this was the phone number. Okay. So now we are going to match these values that is the candidate name and his phone number with the record that we are having in our database. For that we have to apply a filter over here. So click on this plus sign add actions here. And here choose the application name as filter. So basically filter is the if condition. If this particular condition satisfies then only the workflow should run further. Okay. Now here we have to select the label. So here we have to come to Google Forms and from the drop down we are going to map the name of the candidate. Here we have to select the filter type as does not equal to and here we will be mapping the value that we have in our database. That is the candidate name that is demo candidate. So if this name does not equal to this value then only the workflow should run further and here we will be specifying one or condition. So click on this plus sign or condition or if the phone number so phone number of the Google Form submission is does not equal to the phone number that we have in our database. So we will be mapping the phone number from our database that is from MySQL. So here we have mapped it from the Google Form response from the first step and here we are going to match it from our database from a second step. In the same way we have matched the phone number also. So if this condition does not satisfy then only the workflow should run further. Let's check the condition by clicking on save and send test request. And here we have got the status as success message condition is true. So why the condition is true because the name doesn't matches over here. Here we can find the name as demo demo candidate and here the name that we have in our database is demo candidate. So now we want to update this name in our database. So let's scroll down click on this plus sign add action step. And here choose the application name as MySQL once again. And here we have to select the action event as update rows. Click on connect. Select existing connection over here just because we have recently created a connection in our previous step. Simply click on save and my SQL account will be reconnected to Pabli Connect. Okay and here we can see that it is connected. Now here we have to again select the table name. So here the table name would be the same that is candidate details and now we will be mapping the details. We will not map the candidate ID as we don't have the details of the candidate ID. So I am just going to leave this field as blank to ignore it. And here we'll be mapping the name of the candidate that we have got from our Google form response. Okay. So here we have mapped the name of the candidate. I don't want to update the email address as it is same. So I'm just going to leave this field as blank and we want that if the phone number is also changed then it should get updated. So here I'm going to map the phone number also that we have got from our trigger response. So we have mapped the name as well as the phone number. Now here it is asking for the column name. So here I'll be again selecting the column name that is email and here we'll be giving the operator as equal to and the value would be uh, the email address of the candidate. Okay. So based on this particular email address the data will be updated. Now here again we have to give the limit. So let us give it as all once again. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay and here we can see the status as success message updated successfully. It means the data is updated in our database. So let's check it. We have to move back to our MySQL database table and here we can find the demo candidate details. Now we have to just refresh it. Okay and here we can find the candidate name as demo demo candidate. Okay here we have got the same email address and here we have got the same phone number. So in this way we have set up an automation. It is working correctly and the candidate detail has got updated over here. So now we are going to inform the candidate on his WhatsApp number that his data is updated in our database. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and now we are going to integrate WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect. So click on this plus sign, add action step and here choose the application name as WhatsApp Cloud API. Select the action event as send template message. Click on connect, click on add new connection and now it is asking for the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. For that you have to just create a new WhatsApp Cloud API account. So how you can create a new account for that we have created a separate dedicated video. The link is attached in the description box. You can watch the video and you can create a new WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I'll just take you to my WhatsApp Cloud API account and here you can see that I am logged in from developers.facebook.com and here we have to simply click on my apps and here you have to create a new app by clicking on this button create app. As you can see I have already created some apps. I'm just going to access my app that is my connect message app from here. And on the left hand side we can find WhatsApp option. Click on it and click on getting started. 
and here you can find temporary access token phone number id and whatsapp business account id so you have to simply copy these details you have to paste in pably connect and click on save to create a connection but here the thing to note is that temporary access token so it is a temporary token and it will expire in 23 hours so if you will create a connection using this token your workflow will stop working in a day so i would recommend you to generate a permanent access token to create a connection so how you can generate a permanent access token for that also we have created a separate dedicated video the link is attached in the description box you can watch the video and you can generate the token so i'll just move back to public connect and i have already created a connection using my previous credentials so i'm just going to use those credentials and now let's click on save and now the whatsapp cloud api account is connected to public connect now as we have created a connection here we can find all the templates that i have created in my account so template is simply a message that we want to send on the whatsapp number of the customer or the candidate as we cannot send the messages directly on whatsapp first we need to create a template we have to get it approved from facebook and once the template is approved then only we can use the same template for sending the messages on whatsapp that is the reason we have to select a specific template over here so i'll just take you to my whatsapp cloud api account once again and i'll show you the templates also here you can find to create your own message template click here so let's click on this hyperlink so here you can see i have created several templates and got it approved if you want to create a new template you have to click on this create template button and how you can create a template for that also we have created a de separate dedicated video the link is attached in the description box you can watch the video and you can create a template as per your requirement so here i'm just going to open the template which i have already created and got it approved that is database updation so in this particular manner i have drafted a message dear your contact details are successfully updated in our database records regards pably team and here i have given number 1 in the curly braces so this is the variable these are the body fields which, which are going to change every time so in this particular manner a message will be generated and it will be delivered to your candidate and here in the body field one i want the candidate name to be displayed okay so now we are going to use this template that is database updation over here in pably connect so let us find the same that is database updation now here the language code and the template id is automatically captured so we are not going to make any changes now here is asking for the recipient mobile number to whom you want to send the whatsapp message enter the recipient mobile number with country code and without the plus sign so here we are going to map the whatsapp number of the customer that we have got from our trigger response over here okay i'll just show you the whatsapp number okay here we have got the whatsapp number so now we are going to map this mobile number for mapping simply scroll down click it over here come to the trigger response and from the drop down let us map the candidate phone number and as the country code is missing in the mobile number i'm just going to map it manually over here i'll be adding it so as we are in india i have added 91 before the number and it should be without the plus sign as it is mentioned in the instruction over here okay so here you have to map the whatsapp number of the candidate or the customer over here now it is asking for the candidate name so let us find it from google forms trigger response that is demo demo candidate and now let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received it means the message is delivered to the candidate let's check the whatsapp number and here we can find a new message dear demo demo candidate your contact details are successfully updated in our database records regards pably team so in this manner we can see that the candidate name is displayed correctly over here and a correct message is sent to the candidate on his whatsapp number and in this way our integration is perfectly working fine let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first data save successfully okay now as we have set up an automation this is a one time process next time whenever the form will be filled automatically your database will be checked it will be updated and the updation message will be sent to your candidate on his whatsapp number so now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that let's move to the google form once again and here we are going to fill up the form on the name of some other candidate okay let's uh, check the name in the list over here in our database the second candidate name is dummy candidate okay let's uh, update this testing candidate over here okay and here we can find the phone number 7 xxx7 so let's update this testing candidate as testing new candidate okay and i'll be updating the phone number also so let's give the name of the candidate as testing 
new candidate. Let's give the email address as testing at the rate pablitudes.com and here let us add the phone number as 8xxxx and again 8 and now let's click on submit. So the form has been filled. Now let us check our MySQL database first. We have to simply refresh it and here we can find the name of the testing candidate as testing new candidate. Here we can find the same email address and this time you can find the phone number as change that is 8xxx8. And now let us check the WhatsApp also. And here I have given the same WhatsApp number. That's why we have received the message over here. Dear testing new candidate, your contact details are updated successfully in our database records regards Pabli team. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Okay, now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first of all, we have created an integration between Google Forms and Pabli Connect so that whenever the form is filled, automatically the form submission details are captured in Pabli Connect. Then we have added the action step of MySQL database get rows action step to get the details of the specific candidate in Pabli Connect from our database. Then we have applied a filter over here, the if condition that if the name of the candidate or the phone number of the candidate does not match us, then only the workflow should run further. Then we have updated the records in our SQL database and if the records are updated, we have sent the updation messages to the candidates on his WhatsApp number. And in this way, we have learned that how we can match form submission details with MySQL database and we can inform the candidates on their WhatsApp number using Pabli Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case you have any queries, you can just post your queries at Pabli Forum. Our team will surely get back to you. This is our Pabli Connect website. And to know the latest updates and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is Pabli.connect. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is attached in the description box. You can clone this workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.